Corner Kids, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video, and today I'm going to be playing Tower of Cotton Candy. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. All right, so we are on the first tower of this video, and I decided to go ahead and do the blue and pink tower slash the cotton candy tower. And as you can see, we are starting off with blue, but I'm sure as we get higher up in the tower, we're going to have some pink in there. And as you can see in this segment of the tower, they're incorporating some white with the blue, so it's not just completely blue, which is super nice because white goes with anything. So I'm sure they're gonna do that for the pink section as well. And I'm pretty sure the blue is supposed to represent the cotton candy part, and then the white is probably going to represent the thing that holds the cotton candy. I don't know, that's just what I think, but that's probably not what the creator was going for. But anyways, right now we are just jumping on some circles and the parkour is really simple as usual. And there is a couple of kill bricks, but these are the kill bricks that don't kill you when you touch them once. You have to touch them like multiple times in order for them to kill you. So that's really nice. That makes it a lot easier for us to get past each segment of the tower. So I'm very, very happy about that. But honestly, I was expecting that because typically with these types of towers, they don't have those very fatal kill bricks. They only have the ones that will harm you if you touch them once but they won't completely like, just kill you. So that's really nice. And I just wanna say that the day that I am recording this voiceover is on August 9th, and I go back to school on August 11th, but this video probably won't be uploaded until August 10th. So I am going back to school very, very, very soon, which means that I'm going to be a lot more busier than I was during the summertime. Um, I'm not very excited if I'm being honest. I kind of just want it to like stay summer because I'm not really in school, school mode right now. I'm kind of just like in the mood to like just post like all the time because during the summer I was able to do that. And now that I'm going back to school, I'm going to be getting homework and then I'm going to have to worry about like projects and stuff like that. I mean, at least for the first few days of school, I won't have to worry about that because I'm starting school on Wednesday. So I only have to go to school for three full days and then I'm on break again. Not break, but I have the weekend. But then the week after that, I'm sure that's when they're going to start giving us work and they're going to start giving us like projects and stuff. So for the first week of school, I'm sure I can still post like I normally do. But once we get like deep into the school year, I probably won't be able to post that often. But I should probably be able to post at least twice a week or maybe even once a week. So I just wanted to tell you guys that so you guys aren't wondering why I'm not posting for a certain period of time. Because I don't want you guys to think I quit YouTube or anything like that because... That won't be happening anytime soon, so don't worry about that, but I don't want you guys to think anything like that, so I just want to give you guys a heads up and let you know what's going on right now. And as you can see, we have finally made it to the pink section of this tower, which probably means that we are close to the top of the tower, because for the blue section, we had the three sections for that and then we were done and we moved on to the next section which is now the section that we're on right now so we probably have two more sections to go of the whole pink thing and then we'll be done with the tower so i'm super excited to see what's at the end of the tower i haven't watched any videos of anyone playing this game so i don't know anything about it and i haven't seen what the top looks like at all and i don't know how long this tower is i'm just like very clueless about this whole game all i know is that it's a tower and that we just have to play it but right now we are jumping over some kill bricks there is a few kill bricks in the pink one there's a little bit more than there was in the blue segment but that's perfectly fine it's because it's not like the kill bricks are hard to avoid or anything so we can just easily jump over them and keep our health power at 100 percent and we are at the second segment of the whole pink section. Or maybe this is the last one, because I just looked up and I saw like some white blocks. So that probably means that we're going to teleport to some room and that's probably going to be the end of the tower. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I've never made it to the top of this tower, so I don't know how this whole thing works. But right now we are jumping over some kill bricks. And right now on this part of the tower, it's like a salmon color. So it's like a darker pink, but it's still pink, obviously. And as you can see, they have a little healing spot. Oh, that's why they have the little healing spot. Because now we have to walk over multiple kill bricks. 
So that's probably why they had that healing spot, just to make sure that we don't die at this part of the tower, because we have made it so far, so it would suck if we died because we didn't touch the brick, so luckily we did. So right now we're just on this moving platform. Now we're jumping on some spheres. The obstacles in this tower go by very quickly, so when I try to explain them, it's like I'm on the next one already, so I just probably shouldn't try to do that. And we also have some white incorporated into this pink part of the tower. As I said in the blue segment, I knew they were going to incorporate some white into the different segments because I'm sure they don't want you to just be looking at pink and blue the whole time. I'm sure they want to add some white because I feel like it just balances the colors out. And I don't know, it just makes such a big difference if you have like some white in the tower just to like balance out the colors and it'll make it look a lot better rather than there just being like this whole thing of pink with no color to like balance it out, you know, if that makes sense. And right now we're just jumping over some more kill bricks and we're done doing that. It looks like we are at the end of the tower because I can literally see the sky, it's right above me and... We have made it to the end of the tower, so now let's move on to something. So we are on the next tower of this video and I'm not sure what the name of it is because I did not read the name of it when I teleported but everything in this tower is just white. The kill bricks are white, the platforms are white, just every single object in this tower is white and I'm not sure if it's going to change later on but I recommend you turning down your brightness because I don't want you to go blind from watching this video and I just don't want your eyes to hurt in general so please turn down your brightness if it's like all the way up because it's probably very bright obviously I mean it's white so it's going to be bright but right now we're just jumping on some differently sized spheres now we're jumping all over some kill bricks that are on these square shaped platforms and they were kind of like rotated where one minute it looks like a rumbus and then the other it looks like a square now we're jumping on some little small squares that are on these little rectangle <laughs> platforms i don't really know and now we're jumping on some clouds and that's super cool how they added some clouds to this one. So I'm not sure what the theme of this one is supposed to be because I know it's definitely not cotton candy because I haven't seen any cotton candy that's just white before. I mean, there's I'm sure there's some out there, but that's not like the typical cotton candy. So um, I don't know what this whole section is supposed to be based on, but... We're just going to go ahead and do the tower and see how far we can get. And as you can see, there's actually a shortcut right here. So we're just going to go ahead and take the shortcut because we just want to finish this tower and see what's at the end. And now we're jumping on some trusses, which obviously isn't too hard. I mean, they're just little ladders, so <laughs> it's not going to be that hard. Now we have to jump on some more clouds, but instead of these being like fluffy clouds, they're just like... A platform shaped cloud they're not actually like clouds if that makes sense I prefer the ones that are like actually like fluffy rather than the ones that are just like shaped as clouds but they're just like really flat uh, that was probably really random but yeah and now we're jumping over some more kill bricks there is a ton of kill bricks in this tower I don't know why but there's just so many kill bricks and it's not like we've stepped on any of them so that's really good because we haven't lost any health power yet I don't want to jinx it knock on wood I don't have any wood next to me but yes um hopefully the amount of kill bricks that there's in the, that there is in the tower hopefully that lowers because I don't want there to be like an incident where I just like lag or something and I just get stuck standing on the kill brick and then I end up dying I know that's like thinking a little too far that's like really pushing it but I just hope that there's not a lot of kill bricks for the next couple of parts of the tower because I kind of just want the tower to be easy and simple the kill bricks aren't really hurting anything but I just want them to go away okay that's the end of the story okay now we're jumping on some more squares that are surrounded by kill bricks 
I don't know why there's so many kill bricks in this section of the tower. I just don't understand. I think that's because this one is just completely white. So I guess adding the kill bricks adds like more. I don't know how to explain it. It like brightens up the tower more and makes it like more interesting, I guess. Because you have to worry about stuff to avoid. Because honestly, if they didn't add the kill bricks, the tower would be way too easy. And it just wouldn't look as good as it does. Okay, now we're jumping over some clear platforms. Well, not clear, but over some transparent platforms. Because if we jump on those, then we're going to end up falling. And we're going to fall all the way to the bottom of the tower. And then we're not going to be able to make it to the top very quickly. As you can see, we just fell. As I was saying, we were doing super good. Um, and as soon as I said, we're doing really good so far, I had fell. So... Why does it say your purchase is not going through? I didn't try to purchase anything, so I'm not sure why that's popping up. But, anyways, right now we're just jumping over some more kill bricks. There's like kill bricks every second of the tower, literally. And right now we're climbing up this ladder. And now we have to jump on some more platforms that have kill bricks on them, of course. I don't understand why there's so many kill bricks in this tower. And you guys can go ahead and count how many times I said kill bricks in this video. Because I'm sure I said it a lot. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and jump over these kill bricks. Now we're going to walk around these little trusses. That actually wasn't too hard. It was really simple. Now we're jumping over some little tall platforms. Why does it keep saying your purchase fell because something went wrong? I'm not trying to purchase anything. I don't think there's anything you can even purchase in this game. So I'm not sure what that's popping up. I'm pretty sure it's like a bug in the game or something. So hopefully that get fi that gets fixed really soon because it's annoying when you're trying to play in the tower and that just randomly keeps popping up in the middle of your screen. That can be very distracting and it could cause me to fall because as you can see my avatar is in the center of my screen so if that's just randomly popping up I won't be able to see where I'm going and if that pops up again I'm probably going to end up falling down which is not going to be good because I made it super far in this tower so hopefully that doesn't pop up again and hopefully if that's like a bug in the game they get that fixed very soon because that's not good and it looks like we are at the end of the tower so let's go ahead and do these last couple of parts uh oh, I hope I don't mess this up. And there we go. We have made it to the end of the tower. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!